about your product. Uh, I, I personally am excited to sit here and, and uh, learn the ins and outs of it. So thank you for doing this with us today. Thank you for having me. I am honored to be here as well. Yeah. Now, so l let me know when we are when we're um, off mute and ready to roll. Okay. This is Seth Green. We are live at the fascinating Facebook webinar here with Sally Hogshead. Sally, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, Seth, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> My pleasure. Seth, I want to tell everybody a little bit of background about you, so I'm going to take a minute to brag about you. Are you ready? Uh, as long as I can replay it for my wife, I am good. <laughs> well, you, you know what's cool about this, Seth? I've been watching your work for a long time, and I, I've got to tell you that this, 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 uh, that this new technology that you've been developing around Facebook is, is almost almost unbelievable to me, so I'm thrilled to be able to share that with some of our our. our key people that we've been inviting into this. So hey everybody, let, let, let me turn to you and welcome you. I'm excited to introduce you to my, my friend uh, Seth Green. Um, like I said, I've been following Seth's work. Besides being a raving testimonial for the Fascination Marketing System, Seth is a nationally recognized direct response marketing expert. He's written five five brilliant books on marketing. I know as an author what a huge deal that is, including the book that is currently currently taking the marketing world by storm. It's named the Facebook Ninja. Now Seth is the only person in history who's been nominated back to back for Marketer of the Year. I was in the room one year when he was nominated and it was huge. Crowd on its feet, people cheering, whooping, hollering. Everybody's a fan of Seth Green's and he's done it twice back to back by legendary marketing guru and my colleague Dan Kennedy. Seth has been featured on CBS Money Watch, the LA Times, the Boston Globe, the Miami Herald, just to name a few. And he's the founder of the fastest growing direct response marketing firm in the country, Market Domination LLC. Now here's the part where your jaw is going to drop. The claim to fame of Seth's marketing company is that their flagship service will double your sales in 12 months or they'll give you your money back. Let me say that again, their flagship service will double your sales in 12 months or they'll give you your money back. Wow, I am listening and I'm sure you are too. Imagine if you could find a way to quantitatively determine exactly who your customer is, how they spend their money, and then find a lot more people like them. Normally this is get work, guesswork, maybe a happy accident, but imagine if someone could show you exactly what's really going on with your customers their age, their income, their mortgage amount, the make and model of the car they drive, when they bought it, how much they paid. And this information is gold. I don't know any other way to be able to find this unless you hire a major multi-million dollar media agency. And today, Seth is going to introduce you to some seriously cutting edge information. So I've invited him here with a small group to fascinate us. This is only our premium audience so that you can find out how you can use Facebook to legally and ethically steal your competition's customers. Now I'm using the, the word steal loosely, I'm putting little air quotes around it, but I want you to see just how valuable this is so that you can put you, yourself, your brand, your message in front of the exact right potential clients and customers. And I strongly recommend that you listen carefully, get ready to take notes. I personally have been looking forward to this event today so that I can learn this. So without further ado, I give you the Facebook ninja himself, Seth Green. Hey, Seth. Hey, Seth. Thank, thank you, you, thank you for so joining much. us and sharing this with us. God, i got to live up to all of that now. It's like some marketing person wrote it. <laughs> yeah, almost as if. Right? All right. So let's – With I know everybody's time is extremely valuable, and everyone who is a Fascinate fan, obviously, has hopefully used your system to make themselves incredibly busy. So I just want to start off by asking a quick question. Have, has anyone on the call ever wondered, you know, you've got a competitor that does something similar to what you do, and you know in your heart of hearts that you do a better job than they do, but they seem to have more customers than you do in a more successful business. Have you ever wondered why that is? How many of you 
would like me to share the exact system that will put your mar your fascinating marketing message in front of those co that competitor's customers so we can gently redirect them to you so you can finally get appreciated for the wonderful work you're doing in the marketplace and get financially rewarded the way you know you deserve to be. You are about to discover how you can access exactly what Sally was talking about, what people are spending. So no longer are we limited on Facebook to just advertising to people who were fans of something. We can now actually go out and find the buyers of something which is a huge, huge difference, because not everybody who's a fan of something is an actual customer. So I promise that if you stay on this webinar till the end, I will show you the exact system that is creating absolutely incredible results for our clients, that you can create the exact same results in your business. I'll even show you exact campaigns they are running literally word for word, image for image, copywriting, graphic design, creative, targeting, literally everything so that you can learn exactly how to do this for yourself. But first, before we do that, let's talk a little about why you would want to do that in the first place. And obviously it can help you build wealth and double your sales. But first I'd like to ask what seems like a simple question, what is wealth in the first place? So it means different things to different people. It could mean that you are, I, my definition of wealth is you can do what you want, when you want, where you want, with whomever you want. So that means not necessarily have to, no longer having to worry about where your next customer is coming from. Not having to worry about how you're gonna make the rent or payroll that month. Not having to worry about where your next check is going to come from. And one of the greatest ways in my own life to define wealth for me is time because my wife has been a stay-at-home mom for the last eight years since we started as soon as she gave birth to our first child she quit her job and stayed home and I was able to do that for her and it's a gift unlike any other because you can't get the time back I mean we have neighbors across the street whose kids are in daycare and sometimes will the both mom and dad work and there's a child care issue and my wife is always home, is home so she'll take a kid or she'll drop him off at some place she and being able to do that and give her that gift is just changed my life and i'm not saying that you need to be a stay at home mom or let your wife stay home your kids might be older and out of the house by now or your life may be completely different but i want you to think about why your compelling reason why we're doing all of this in the first place so why are we talking about Facebook? You know, it's interesting because little or literally over a year ago, and this is heresy, I know, for a marketing, social media marketing expert to say this, um, but literally like a year ago, I would have told you not to waste your time. I would have said, if let's say you're B2B, business, you're selling business to business, Facebook is probably not a good idea for you. I would have said you're probably going to waste your money and you might as well just keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. However, everything has changed in the last year. And hang on, I believe we're having technical difficulties. Um, Sally, can, it, can you hear me? Can you, okay, so I apologize. I think we lost a connection there for a second. So why has everything changed in the last year? Everything has changed because if you look in your wallet, if you're at all like me, you have a stack of these, a stack of credit cards in your wallet. And when you go to the local Starbucks or wherever it is that you're going, what happens is your credit card goes through a swipe terminal. 
Now, when you took out your credit card, you signed a contract um, with Visa or MasterCard or American Express, and they swore um, they would never sell your data. And they haven't. However, the company that provides that swipe terminal, do you know who they are? Of course you don't because that merchant processing company has a contract with Starbucks. They don't have a contract with you as a consumer. They don't know who you are. I mean, you don't know who they are. You have no relationship with them. And because of that, that is a loophole. And because of that, they can sell your data and do whatever they want with it. Now, this isn't new. This data has actually been for sale as long as there have been credit cards. It's literally been for sale 30, 40 years. But the issue was it was only available for purchase via direct mail. So in order to make it cost effective, because it costs millions of dollars, in order to make it cost effective, you literally had to mail millions of direct mail pieces every month. You had to be basically a large national advertiser in order for this to work for you. What's different now is we can, and, and the other catch to it was the data was 30 days old. So if someone went into the bookstore and bought Sally Hogshead's Fascinate book, which you should all own, and have read multiple times over, if you bought it, I could find out 30 days later and send you a letter about the fact that you bought her book. However, what's changed now is we can append this data to social media, and in this case, we're talking about Facebook today. So what that means is you can buy it for pennies or dollars. You don't need millions of dollars to get it anymore. And second of all, it's almost real time. It's within 24 hours of when it happens. So I can see when someone buys something the day after they bought it. So if, you, if Sally and I go to lunch today, tomorrow I can see what she had for lunch. How does that sound? So that's why the time is now to take advantage of this. So as Sally alluded to, who am I and why should you listen to me? Yes, I've written five best-selling, I've written five books. I've been nominated back-to-back -back for Market of the Year by Dan Kennedy. Um, I've been featured in tons of media outlets all over the country, and I get interviewed about this all the time. But I didn't start out this way. I didn't start out as a marketing expert or a marketing guru. Um, what actually happened is I was going to Syracuse University for undergrad, and I was going for acting. I, I, that was my goal. I was going to be a Broadway star. And my senior year, two of my friends and I decided to produce an interactive murder mystery musical called The Mystery of Edwin Drood. And we went to the student government, bought the student government organization, and we bought a, we raised, we got them to give us the money to produce the show. I started producing the show. Uh, you know, we hired a cast of all of our friends. We built sets. We rented a theater. Um, we were doing great. We were off to the races. But we were six weeks away from opening night. And the Student Government Association gave us a call and said, we need to talk to you. So we went in, and they said, you're a first-time student organization. We gave you too much money. Our bylaws prevent you from getting that much money, we need to take half of the money back. So I had a choice to make. I could close the show and let down all my friends and tell them to tell their parents not to come to cancel their plane tickets. And or I could find a way to raise the money. And in the movie Top, Top Gun with Tom Cruise, his uh, the admiral, the bald guy who chomps cigars, says, uh, Son, your ego's writing checks your body can't cash. Well, my ego wrote a check, and I said, hey, uh, Nick and Steve, my friends at the time, you know, I got all these pre-approved credit card applications in the mail. Why don't I just sign them, get the credit cards, I'll charge the budget for the musical, and then we'll make it back out of ticket sales, and whatever is left over that we don't sell tickets to when we graduate – you know, you guys will take out credit cards and get cash advances, and we'll all just split it, and we'll each have a third of the debt that's left. And they both said, okay, sounds great. So I did it. And the problem was I knew nothing about marketing then. And so I ended up at the end of the school year when we were graduating um, with $50,000 on my credit card. 
and no way to pay it back. And I went to Steve and Nick and I said, hey, guys, uh, you got to take a third of this each, like our deal. And they did something I didn't do. They went to their parents and asked for permission to go, you know, charge $15,000. And their parents, of course, said no, which is what mine would have said had I had the smarts to ask them. So they said no and screwed me. And I was left stuck with $50,000 in credit card debt with no way to pay it back. Um, I tried for a year to make all of those payments. Um, I did consumer credit counseling. I did yet consolidation, but uh, my first, uh, but it, it didn't happen. So I got stuck going chapter seven. I went bankrupt on that on that fifty thousand dollars, and it was one of the most humiliating days of my life that I had borrowed this money for something I didn't know what I was doing, and I couldn't afford to pay it back. And so I decided that based on that, I I decided I didn't want to starve to death as an actor. And I decided that based on my experience of borrowing money I didn't have to gamble on something I knew nothing about, that I should pursue a career as a financial advisor and tell other people what to do with their money. So I did that. And it's interesting. This is a movie called Boiler Room, if you haven't seen it, where Giovanni Rapisi plays the lead character named Seth, coincidentally enough, who is a aggressive young stockbroker right out of school. And that was my life, except it wasn't illegal. I was working for a Fortune 500 company, um, smiling and dialing for dollars. I was not fascinating at all back then. I did not have Sally yet. So what happened was, in my spare time, I am a professional magician. And I was reading a magic magazine. Magicians have trade journals. There was a full-page ad for a marketing course for magicians. So I bought the course. I implemented the course. I didn't learn any more magic. I didn't become any better as a magician, but I became a, mark, a good marketer, and I doubled my prices as a magician to become the most expensive magician in my area, and I ended up becoming the most booked magician, the busiest magician who was the highest price in my area, literally within a month. It was an absolute incredible turnaround. So I went back to the guy who sold me the course, whose name is Dave D., who is now chief marketing officer for the Kennedy for the Dan Kennedy company Dan Kennedy started. He wasn't back then; he was just an info marketer to magicians. So I went to Dave D. and I said, "Hey, would this course work in my real job as a financial planner?" And Dave D. said, "Yes, it would." And I said, "Where did you?" learn how to do this. And he said two words that changed my life. He said, Dan Kennedy. So I went to Dan Kennedy, and this was a long time ago, back when Dan still did consultations um, before you spent you know, $18,000 on a consulting day. So I did the consultation, and Dan told me everything you are doing in the industry is wrong. Um, can I just, I apologize, I have a whole bunch of messages here saying the audio is having some issues. Can someone shoot me a message and tell me if it's okay, that, tell me that you can hear me? Yes, it's better now. Okay, good. So, hey, Seth, it's Sally. I think we were having some audio issues earlier, but you have it seems like you've cleared it up now, and we're dying to hear more about how you were able to apply Dave D's uh, principles of magic into not only uh, becoming a better financial advisor, but also, I have to tell you, I was absolutely transfixed when you were describing earlier about how you have found a secret way to access credit card information that's legal and ethical. I literally wrote a note to Ed, my, my husband and partner, who's sitting across from me, saying, that is is amazing capital A M A Z I N G. So please keep going. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll speed it up. So anyway, so I hired. I I, I went to Dan. Um, Dan told me write me a big check and I'll change your life. So I went home to my wife, who I who we had literally just gotten married, just bought our first house, and all in the same year she had just quit her job to become a stay at home mom. And I said, honey, I need to go borrow more than our mortgage to hire this guy Dan. She told me I was crazy. Um, I asked her the same question every day for 30 days in a row. On day 31, she said, you better pray this works. I hired Dan, and within the first two years, my production went up 435%. I went from the lowest placed rep in a Fortune 500 company out of 6,700 advisors to the top 30 nationwide. So it completely worked. So then along the way, I've written five books that you alluded to. 
And what we're talking about today is exactly what you just mentioned, is how Facebook and how this marketing system can buy you freedom. So, so many folks I hear from all the time are facing challenges when they're trying to get new customers, new customers, clients, patients, prospects. If you take away one thing from this session today, I want you to write this down. Facebook is not a social network. Facebook is not a social network. They don't make a dime off of being a social network. Facebook is an ad agency. Facebook is an ad agency. They only make, the whole purpose behind the social network is to have an audience that they can run ads to for businesses so that they can make money. Facebook doesn't make any money unless you click on an ad and that advertiser pays for it. So if you stop thinking of Facebook as a social network and start thinking of it as an ad agency, it's going to change your mindset because Facebook is dependent on you, the business person, the entrepreneur, to stay in business. Mark Zuckerberg can't be worth $40 billion without you. Not without you on Facebook writing about what you had for lunch, but without you on Facebook running your marketing campaigns. So again, this credit card data that I'm going to show you is 12 months old. My analogy would be if you could have mastered Google AdWords 15 years ago when you could buy clicks for pennies, that's what this is. It's the wild, wild west right now because nobody's doing it. So this is an actual example. So this is a local bricks and mortar chicken and pizza restaurant in Buffalo where I live. And they wanted customers from Domino's and from Pizza Hut because their pizza is award winning. It's 10 times better. So we, they came up with an offer, buy a large pizza and get free hand breaded chicken tenders if you, it, 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 from this offer. We made it text that you had to text in so that that way they got the coupon via text message and my client, the chicken pizza place, now has permission to text a message market to all of these people whenever they want. We went after Domino's and Pizza Hut customers in a 10 mile radius of his location and he called me in the first hour and said, what are you doing? My phone is blowing up. And I said, we're working our magic. And he said, okay, great. Because every time somebody signs up, I get a text message saying they signed up. And then within 24 hours, he called me back and said, you have to turn it off. I ran out of chicken fingers to give away. You got me 50 customers in 24 hours. And the best part was the ad cost to Facebook, how much he paid for the ad, was $24.23. So that is due to the Facebook Ninja system that can get you freedom. So a lot of times I hear folks say, well, I don't have that many fans, so I don't think this is going to work for me. This is Sand Lake Center for Advanced Dentistry in Orlando, Florida, and I believe they have about 900 fans. So they're not Sally. They don't have tens of thousands of fans. They've got about 900. They're a local dentist. You know, they're not a huge, giant national company. However, we ran, this is what's called an offer claim ad, and I'm going to break down the different types of ads. This is an offer claim ad. It's $1,250 off of Invisalign. Call this phone number, which is trackable and only published on Facebook, so they know exactly what the response is. So within less than four days, they got nine new Invisalign patients and sold about $36,000 worth of dentistry. Their return on investment was $112 for every dollar they spent on advertising costs, which is, you know, if I give you a dollar, if you give me a dollar and I give you 112 back, how many dollars are you going to give me? As many as you've got, right? Hey, Seth, can I jump in here for a second? Of course. So, something I love so much about what you've described is, Pizza is a spontaneous choice. You know, you can, I, I cannot be thinking about pizza one minute and then start thinking about pizza and make the purchase decision. But Invisalign is totally different. And what you've just shown us are two different case studies that are diametrically opposed. Some people are selling a, a, a spontaneous investment like um, a, a product that is going to be low price, low investment. And other people are selling things like life insurance policies that require a huge amount of investment. And what you're showing us is that it, it, any type of product, any type of service, any type of business, and even any type of entrepreneur can use this and begin applying this. So keep going. This is, this is incredibly fascinating to me and I know to everybody else who's listening. 
Thank you. That's absolutely right. It does. It used to matter. Like I said a year ago, without the credit card data, it mattered what type of business you were in, and it would have worked best for things like pizza, an impulse purchase that is low priced and not expensive, and you could decide 10 minutes before you wanted it. However, now with the credit card data, we can sell expensive things on Facebook like Invisalign. Um, we're gonna. I have dozens of financial advisor case studies because they're selling an intangible. Um, which normally you would think is harder to sell. So we're going to go. That, I appreciate that. That is exactly where we're headed. So this is Palmer Care Chiropractic, which is a chiropractor, again, bricks and mortar, who said, you know, I, I have five clinics. I'm treating thousands of patients. I don't have time to do this stuff. So what we offered was um, a free, we, we wrote a series of lead generation magnets, of free reports. In this case, this one's about fibromyalgia. So we were advertising to people who had bought things that led us to believe they were good fibromyalgia patients, and we offered them a nurture magnet, a read this free report to learn more about how we can treat your fibromyalgia. They opt in for that. They get an email follow-up sequence driving them in for a free consultation exam, and, you know, exam, x-rays, and consultation in the office, and we're literally getting him new patients every single day. So the bigger reason why I do this, this is my wife, Rebecca, and my three kids. This is Max, Ella, and Lily. Um, I do this for them. I also, and I hope you have a compelling reason as well why you want to grow your business. This is also, I support uh, about 37 entrepreneurs in third world countries where we, we give them the money to fund their business so that they can get out of poverty. And I, I, I felt really rewarded because of, during Hanukkah, um, my kids picked out, said, Daddy, I want to do that. So they got to look through. They picked out some entrepreneurs themselves, and they used their own money um, to help someone in a third world country start a business. So that's my other compelling reason why I do this. So what is different about Facebook Ninja? I think we've already alluded to that, and Sally's chopping at the bit to get me through to the credit card data, which I'm getting to. So the myths we hear about why this won't work for you or why Facebook won't work, people say they don't have that many fans. They say they don't have the time. They say they'll lose money. I had a client come to us who had spent $25,000 on Facebook advertising with literally zero results. And they were very, very frustrated and burnt out, which I would have been too. But literally within a month and spending less than $500, they had sales. So it's about if you do it right, it will work. Uh, people think they can do it by themselves. Giving the social media to the 22-year-old college intern in your office is probably a bad idea. Just because they're on social media doesn't mean they know how to be a social media marketer, and they're two very different things. Being on Facebook as a person is completely different than being on it as a business owner, and obviously they're not going to be able to access half of what we're showing you. So what are the hey, five? Hey, Seth, let me, let me add something to that. It's, be, just because you're on social media doesn't mean that you know how to be able to master social media and make money off of it, but I'll even take it a step further. Just because you're a marketer doesn't mean that you can master Facebook marketing. In our own company, you know, we are a marketing-based company, Fascinate. We don't do our own Facebook advertising because we understand that just because you're a general practitioner doesn't mean that you're an orthopedic surgeon. And today, the rules are changing so quickly on Facebook that what worked six months ago isn't going to work now. There's so, there's so much nuance to it that even though uh, two years ago I was named one of the most influential people in social media, today I know enough to know to not pretend that I know how to monetize this. And I know to go to the experts when I actually want to start making money off this and not just post about my kids. <laughs> I agree 100%. So what are the five keys to success on Facebook? First of all, you have to post every day. And it has to be non-business related content. So if all you do, let's say you are a, uh, let's say you're, we have a lot of clients in the information marketing business, a number of whom are in the get rich in real estate business. They're selling products, tapes, books, seminars on how to invest in real estate. If all they do is post about real estate every single day, their fans will stop paying attention to them because ultimately it will be boring if you're saying the same thing every day. So what we've figured out is you need to – we have a two-to-one ratio. So you should post two times as much warm, fuzzy content as you should hardcore promotional content. So that means if I post – 
a warm and fuzzy post on Monday and a warm and fuzzy post on Tuesday, then on Wednesday I can post something related to my business to drive sales. And then Thursday and Friday can be warm and fuzzy and Saturday can be hardcore. If all you post is buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, people will go away because they'll get annoyed that that's all you're talking about, which is why you see so many people, why you see posts about my kids because they're cute and they're engaging and they get people to like it, share it, and talk about it. And then it's funny, the most read column in my monthly direct mail newsletter is the column about what my kids are up to. But I make sure underneath that column to post what we're promoting that month because I know they'll see it because the first page people flip to is about my kids. Number two, you want to grow your fan base if you don't have one already with what we call a cheap light campaign in front of your customers. So we're going to show you how to do that where you literally get likes for pennies. Um, you want to clone your customers. See what you can do is you can, and I know I'm getting advanced here, but we'll come back to it. You can upload your existing customer list into Facebook as what's called a custom audience. So not only can you keep in touch with your customers via Facebook, but you can also clone that customer list, you can find every other person on Facebook who meets the same criteria as your customer and get those folks to engage with you at a much lower cost because you're advertising to exactly the right people. One thing I want to make sure you don't do is any ad you create or any post you write on your Facebook page, there is something, a little button will appear called Boost Post that Facebook wants you to press. Please never boost your post. It's a giant waste of money. Facebook will spend whatever amount you specify as fast as possible with as little targeting as possible. It's mostly pure profit for Facebook. Please run a page post engagement ad instead, and I'll show you the different types of ads, but please don't boost your posts because it's a waste of money. And number five, you have to make an offer. You have to make it easy for people to take the next step with you. So whether that was text in for a coupon, whether it was go to this website to opt in for a free report, whether it's register to attend a webinar like this, you've got to make them an offer so they know how to do business with you. So I talked about warm and fuzzy content versus hardcore promotional content. So I want to illustrate the difference. So this is for a dentist. And you would think a dentist content, um, they should be posting about tooth decay all the time. But if, all that's, if that's all they post and your tooth doesn't hurt, you'll unfriend, unfollow them and ignore them. So what we post for dentists is warm and fuzzy health and wellness content. So it's still somewhat related, but you can see this, this is a post about diabetes and obesity or affecting treatments for cancer. And it's all to, it got cut off, but underneath there's a link to the study showing that diabetes and obesity can affect how you respond to like chemotherapy and radiation. So it's still health and wellness related. And the reason we wrote about diabetes and obesity, we, because almost with the statistics in America, almost everybody knows someone who is either diabetic or overweight. And the amount of shares we got on this post was incredible because everyone was saying, oh, my mother-in-law has diabetes. My father's diet, my father's overweight. And they were sharing it on everybody's Facebook pages, making them come back to the dentist who posted it in the first place, thus building their audience and establishing them as an expert so that now people were saying, I can't wait to see what she posts next because it might affect somebody else in my family. So that's warm and fuzzy content. Um, this is, you might recognize him, this is Jack Canfield, the number one best-selling book author of all time from Chicken Soup for the Soul. Um, when we did some work for Jack, he said, you know, I'm not so sure about the ROI. You know, I have millions of fans from Chicken Soup for the Soul, but I'm not sure how this is actually going to make me money. I mean, you alluded to that about the monetization aspect a few minutes ago. So Jack did what was called bestsellerblueprint.com with Steve and Bill Harrison. And Bestseller Blueprint was an info product on how to write your own best-selling book. So this was the ad, one of the ad campaigns we did. You know, want to write a book? Go free, attend this free author training with Jack Canfield. It was to attend a webinar. And one of the best-performing campaigns we created for Jack, we did 200 of them based on different ways to slice and dice the data. We said, who wants to write a book? Well, probably people who subscribe to a magazine that tells you how to write a book, which is Writer's Digest. So we put ads in front of Writer's Digest customers. 13,000 of them saw it. 
553 went to that website, 270 opted in, which is a 48% opt-in rate, which is great. 452 people shared the link, and it only cost us $250 in ads to get those 270 people to sign up for the webinar. So it's less than a dollar a piece to get a qualified button the seat on a webinar, which I would happily pay all day long. This is a business-to-business -business example. This is Tom Arendt, who spoke at the same event, Dan Kennedy event you spoke at. And Tom coaches dentists. So he is selling his services to dentists on how they can make more money and in, spend less time in the office. So this was his ad that we ran in front of dentists so we can see their profession. We can see how old they were. He wanted dentists in their 50s who were thinking about retirement. We wanted to know how much money they were making now. The credit card data shows us your income. But he also wanted to make sure that they were spending money on marketing now because otherwise they wouldn't hire him. So we found three other dental marketing gurus. Um, uh, one was Greg Presti, one was Dustin Burlitson, and one was Charlie Martin. So we advertised to their customers. So they were already buying marketing products from other folks. Now we were watching, we were putting ads in front for Tom's product. And Tom said, JV email marketing were where all my business was coming from, but now Seth is my number one source of traffic. 35,000 dentists saw it, 696 of those, that particular ad went to his website for 35 cents a click. So, and this is key, Seth. I, mean, I want to point out something so that people who are listening can really appreciate this. Not all traffic is created equal. Getting 35,000 people to come to your site doesn't mean that you're talking to 35,000 prospects. It means that there's going to be a tiny percentage of those people who might actually be interested and get engaged and, and potentially eventually buy. In this case, what you're talking about, if I'm hearing you correctly, these are it's almost like you're being handed pre-qualified leads who are already interested in what you're selling. Is that right? Exactly. Now, the so one caveat. It, so it's not just about you're, you're not spending your time and your resources talking to people who ultimately would never buy. You're talking to people for whom this is a very relevant offer that's already addressing a problem that they're trying to solve. So you're attracting people who, who, who are far more likely to become your ideal client or customer. Exactly. They're converting at a higher rate, they're spending more money, and they're doing it more frequently because, again, now granted, you've got to do the, your automated marketing system using your fascinating message has to do the work, but, and convert them and get them to buy, but it's laser-focused, micro-targeted traffic unlike anything we've been able to get before. We recently saw something uh, like this when we started looking at our own data. You know, it's all about the data. It's all about being able to understand who you're talking to, you, to, why are they coming to you, what do they want to buy, how much can they spend. And when we look at our own list and we look at the people that, that we're talking to, what we realize is there are certain people who are far more likely to buy and get involved and participate and spread our message than other people. And the more data that we have, the more data points that we could have to have the information, that we could turn that into meaningful insight. It became much more easy for us to serve people exactly what they wanted to hear in order for them to take it to the next level of engagement. You're absolutely right. And that's one of the things you can use the system to do is to upload your own customer list and run the algorithm through your list and find out who your customers are, what they're buying, where the, what, who, what, what competitors they're spending money on, what books they're reading, what music they listen to. So you can literally go advertise to the exact same people and acquire customers at a much cheaper cost. Wow. Yeah, that, that, is, that is freaking incredible. I, I don't want to interrupt you. Please keep going. I just wanted to clarify that for myself. Please, go on. I, you can interrupt me whenever you want. It's your webinar. Um, so the seven ads you need to run on Facebook, and again, you want to write these down too. Number one, you want to run cheap like ads in front of your customer email list. Because, again, you can upload your customer email list as a custom audience, and I will guarantee you that not all of your customers – are fans of your Facebook page, but they should be. So they're going to like your page at a much cheaper price than a stranger would. So you want to build, one of the ways to build up your fan base is to run a cheap like ad. And that would be, for example, so a cheap like ad for Sally might be like our page if you want to be more fascinating. It's literally one sentence and a picture of the book or a picture of Sally, and it's asking them to like it. Because on a like ad, you get one sentence. That's how much room you get. 
and because it's run at her customers, it's going to cost her very little to get them to like her page because they already know who she is. You also want to run the same a cheap like ad in front of your customer's friends. So Facebook will let you say, take my customer email list, find everybody they are friends with on Facebook, and put this ad in front of them. But the really cool part is that ad when it shows up. In, so if Sally is my friend, and here, let's pick somebody who's on the webinar. If Sally's my friend, and I run an ad in front of, and Alan is friends with Sally, the ad in front of Alan will say, Sally likes Seth Green, the ultimate marketing magician, and you should too. It's basically social proof. It's an implied testimonial. And we literally see like 4x the response rate on those ads because of the social proof. Then you want to run a cheap like ad. So it's almost like they're sharing. It's almost like. Yes, it's almost if, like you're if, forcing I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly, I just want to make sure I get that. Yeah, wow. Legal and ethical, but yet ever so uh, slightly brilliant on being able to take what Facebook has built as its infrastructure and using it in a way that, that, that I don't know any other marketers who know this. So doing this is going to be something that hasn't already glutted people's Facebook experience so that it will feel fresh and new. I, I, I'm not. I'm sure I'm not the only one. On, only one on the planet who, who has figured this out. But I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> um, you can also use Facebook to clone your customers. It will. Uh, we talked about using it to profile your customers. Well, then let's go find everybody else who's a clone of my existing customer and get them to like my page. Then let's run what we call a post engagement ad. So the way to get more people to see your post to like it, to share it, and to comment on it is to give Facebook money. Remember, they're not a social network, they're an ad agency. So if you ever wonder why some company's Facebook post got a ton of likes and shares and comments, and you're wondering why yours didn't, well, they probably spent a decent amount of money, and that could be 50 bucks, I'm not talking about a lot, on a post engagement ad because then you're paying for people to like it, comment, and share on it so Facebook gets them to do that because again they're trying to make money. Then obviously you want to run an offer ad like you saw whether it's pizza or a free report or a webinar attendee or a teleseminar or a book like we're currently doing a you had recently promoted and shared with your folks that they could get a free copy of my book The Facebook Ninja if they just paid the shipping so we ran offer ads for that. And you can also run a clicks to website ad where you're just directly driving people to a website and you're only paying for the people who click. So um, those are the seven types of ads you want. There are other types of ads you can run on Facebook, but these are the seven most important ones and where you want to start in the order. You want to start with number one and work your way down the list. So the question is, will you be our next success? So let me show you the exact system Hey, Seth, are you still there? I think we may have lost Seth. So while Seth is, Seth. While Seth is jumping in, I'm going to, uh, well, he's dialing back in. I'm going to um, take a moment to pause and say, uh, when I first met Seth, it was at a GKIC event, and I was speaking, and everybody kept talking about this guy, Seth Green. Everybody talked about how Seth had this way of knowing how to do marketing that other people didn't know. So as I'm sitting here listening to this, I'm applying this, and I'm taking notes. In fact, I've even been doing screen grabs until I realized that I already had a copy of this presentation. Now I'm going to put it on mute and ask Seth, are you back with us? I am back. I am back. Excellent. Okay, I'm muting myself again. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so I kind of love go to webinar. Okay, so the Facebook Ninja system. How can you implement all of this in your business? So first, we have an eight-week video course. 
where we literally spend an hour per week building Facebook marketing campaigns right in front of you and teaching you everything you need to know along the way. Now, I'm not as famous as Sally, so my time is only $800 an hour, but eight hours times 800 is $6,400, but don't worry, you're not going to pay that. Um, we also give you eight CDs of all of the audio recordings so you can listen in your car or on your iPhone. Um, so you get the eight-week video course, the eight CDs, eight DVDs, so you can watch it as many times as you want. And this is really great if you have a staff or a virtual assistant because they can watch all of these so that they're doing your social media marketing the right way and accessing all of this data. Um, we also transcribe all of the eight hours so you can read every word next to the screenshot. Some people like to read, some like to watch. Some like to listen. Um, we also give you our software that scrapes Facebook user ID. Now let me tell you what that means. So my one of my chiropractors is in Virginia. His wife is a member of a Facebook group called the Loudoun County Housewives, which is affluent mothers who stay home which is his exact ideal patient. So he can't get in the group and advertise to it because they won't let him in because he's not a housewife. But our software scraped out all the user IDs of every member of the group and upload them into his account as a custom audience so now he can run ads to all those group members that he can't get access to any other way. We normally sell that for $307. It's included for free. We also include a giant swipe file, which is our library of ads and case studies from our clients like Jack Canfield, Ron Legrand, Tom Arendt, Greg Presti. We tell you what worked and what didn't work. We tell you how we screwed up and how you can avoid making that mistake because we've literally spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on all of this. We also include our separate course on how to write a Facebook ad for direct response marketing. Because Sally, you said it earlier, just because you're a marketer doesn't mean you know how to do this on Facebook. Direct response marketing copy is completely different on Facebook. You can't write a 30-page sales letter on Facebook. So you've got to know how to use it and be fascinating on Facebook because it's a different form of media. We also include... Seth, well can I make a confession? Yes. yes. What you're saying is, is really, really important that I want people to hear. Just because you're a marketer doesn't mean that you're great at marketing on Facebook. It doesn't mean that you can make a profit. And we've wasted a lot of time trying to figure out that lesson. Absolutely. I agree 100 I agree hundred percent. So I teach a marketing mastermind group. We meet in person every month for three hours, and I teach a cutting-edge marketing strategy. So it's not just based. You get a whole lot of other stuff with it. It's everything we're doing for our clients that's working, and we video that. You get access to the virtual version where you can watch the video, get the PowerPoint slides, get the Word documents, the JPEG files, whatever you need to execute whatever campaign we're teaching that month. Um, we normally charge $197 a month for the virtual version, so that's $2,364 for 12 months of access. Again, that's all free. Um, we also will run a search engine optimization audit for you. This is like a 20-page report where we tell you why your website ranks where it ranks and how to get it to rank where it should rank without paying some SEO firm tens of thousands of dollars. We normally charge a thousand bucks for that. That's free. Um, I'll also give you copies of all my books: uh, Cutting Edge Marketing Magic, Real Estate Marketing Magic, Financial Advisor Marketing Magic, which is a 12-month swipe file of direct mail campaigns. And I will also throw in uh, three of my favorite books from Dan Kennedy. If you don't have them, No BS Direct Marketing, The Ultimate Sales Letter, and Marketing to the Affluent. 
Um, you also get email access to me, as long as you don't send me an email every five minutes. Uh, you can email me with whatever questions or issues you're having, and I will personally help you solve them. Um, you also get uh, two critiques of your Facebook ad campaign. So again, at $800 an hour, that's $1,600 where I'll spend two hours going over your campaigns with you so that you can um, get them fixed and get them performing the way they should be. Um, so that is the eight week video course, the eight CDs, the eight DVDs, DVDs, the transcript, the software, the library of ads, the ad writing course, 12 months of access to our mastermind group, our SEO audit, the five book marketing library, email access to me, and two critiques of your Facebook ad campaigns, which may all retail for $15,155.55. We normally sell it for $49.97 on our website. However, our Sally twisted my arm and said you've got to make an irresistible brain dead offer for my top folks. So we're cutting that price in half for $2,497. I also have an incredible free gift for everyone. Um, if you like, if you will be so kind as to become a fan of Ultimate Marketing Magician on Facebook, and send me a message, I will enable the category level of credit card data in your account for free. Now there's an important distinction between category and specific. So if you buy the Facebook Ninja course or you just get the data, you will be able to see what category people buy. So you'll be able to see that they bought like salty snacks at the grocery store. If we do it for you, then we can see that they bought Fritos or Doritos. But I'll give you the category level for free no matter what. We can also do it all for you if you'd like. The done for you level, we write your Facebook posts every day, we run the credit card targeted ads, we increase your engagement, increase your fan base, we get you a new customer, we get you the customer cloning system, we do your monthly offers for you and your monthly reporting. There is normally that is only $59.97 a month, but again, Sally twisted my arm and said, you've got to cut it in half, so it's $29.97 a month just for your folks. So if all this did for you was get your Facebook marketing out of the hands of the 22-year-old intern in your office and into the hands of professionals, what if you worth it? If all it did was got your content creation and graphic design done for you every day, would that be worth it? If all it did was increase your fan base, with people who are most likely to buy from you and get your marketing message in front of your competition's customer, would it be worth it? You can also get it all for free. If you simply, re um, simply refer three other business owners to invest in the program, then yours is free at whatever level you want. Um, on the done for you side, we can only accept 15 done for you members because we don't have the time to handle any more than that. So it's first come, first serve. Um, if you'd like either one of those spots, it's at thefacebookninja.com slash choices. Um, I know we've been having audio issues. I will be sending out a replay to everybody who registered with clean audio, and I appreciate your patience. Seth, do you have time for me to ask you a couple of quick questions? Of course. If I'm if I'm hearing correctly in the way that you're describing this, this is almost like walking into a huge room of prospects and being able to have um, a member of VH1 pop up video where the the the, the information yes. will pop up above or below the person. It's almost like you're getting pop up video on every single person in that room, so that before you go over and introduce yourself or talk to them, you already know exactly what to say. It's almost like reconnaissance that you're able to do on these potential prospects so that you can know which ones are going to instantly fall in love with exactly what you're selling so that you can do exactly what you love to do by finding the people who are going to pay you more, who are going to stay loyal, who are going to refer more to you so that you can grow your business around doing more of what you actually love. 
And instead of wasting your time talking to people who are never going to buy, who are never going to refer you, who would become a huge headache if they, if they did decide to become a, a client or a customer, instead you can say, you know, the, the, those are not the people that I want to be investing my budget into. So it's like taking, taking what you're already doing right and letting you do more of it so that you can be more effective and ultimately make a bigger difference with your business so that you're not floundering and banging your head against the wall trying to figure out this whole Facebook thing. Instead, it's that pop-up video in the crowded room of prospects so that you can spend more time closing the deal and doing the work you love and less time with the struggles and headaches of the people who are never going to be great clients anyway. Is that right? That is completely right. So being I, able I to do that, it myself. yeah. If if be, being able to do that, you, let, let, let me let, let me even make a little metaphor here. What the fascination system does is similar yet different to this. What what we do is we help you understand how the world sees you, so that you have data points about how others perceive you at your best, so that you can do more of what you're already doing right. What your system is doing is something very similar. It's giving people new data points, new pieces of of, of valuable information that up to this point has been completely invisible. There's never been uh, a system that I've seen before that has brought all this information together in one place, in one system. So it's one-stop shopping, soup to nuts, understanding who you should be talking to, how you should be talking to them, what you should say, and how do you bring that deal home so that you're not being perceived as somebody who's sleazy, hard sell. Instead, you're actually able to create participation and engagement and attraction that allow you to grow your business over and over again in a way that's very scalable and relatively inexpensive. Would you agree with that description? I would agree 100%. I want to answer Cheryl had wrote in a question and said, my clients are seniors, average age 70. Does this work on them or more for their children? Cheryl, it depends, one, on what you're selling to them, but the 60-plus demographic is actually the fastest growing demographic on Facebook because they're on Facebook to watch their kids and their grandkids. So it's, we have a number of clients serving that niche. I've got financial advisors using this program to get to that niche effectively. I've got some real estate folks who are looking to um, help seniors downsize their house. Um, so they're looking for people who want to sell, seniors who want to sell their house. I've got folks who are doing, want to generate use, market to seniors for reverse mortgages. Um, hearing aids would absolutely work, yes, because they're on Facebook to watch their kids and their grandkids. So one of the messages might be, you could do a message around, you know, can you hear everything your grandkids are telling you? Um, what are you missing out on? You might want to do something, depending on how, how, how hard a sell you wanted to make, you could even do something for the seniors saying, you know, do you, you know, are you worried about being a burden to your kids or your kids going to think that you're not altogether with it because you're not hearing what they're saying and a hearing aid would solve the issue and there's nothing wrong with your brain. You don't have dementia. You just have a hearing loss. So a hearing aid could solve that potential problem. It just depends on how far you want to push the envelope, but it could absolutely work for you. Can people reach out to you directly, Seth, if they have more questions and uh, yeah, absolutely. And, my, and my email ways is, that they can be applying yeah. this? Yes. Uh, my email is Seth at Market Domination Program .com. I'm typing into the chat box and send everyone, and I will also be emailing everyone a clean audio version of this webinar um, so that the parts where GoToWebinar cut me out are put back in so they can just reply to that email, but I will, I'm typing it in the chat box right now. And but I'm happy to answer is, any questions. I, this is a decision that, that is not something to be putting off. It's so easy to, to think, you know, I'm going to get to my social media later because sometimes it feels like this big nasty hairball on the to-do list and it's kind of overwhelming. But what you're offering us is not just a way for us to be handing it off to the intern in our office or having somebody on our staff do your system. Instead, you're saying that you'll do it for us so that we can start doing this immediately. Is that right? Right. Yeah, that's up to that's up to each person on the on the webinar whether they want to learn how to do it themselves and in-house or whether they want us to do outsource it to the experts and have us do it for them. That's totally up to you. We have clients who are getting great results both ways. How I'm about people who are in, how about people who are in information marketing? What's the way that they can be applying this? Well, most 
uh, info marketers usually have a front end of their marketing funnel. So whether it's a free report or whether it's a webinar they want people to attend or whether they're doing a physical seminar and they need butts in the seats or whether it's a free video series that ultimately closes the sale for them. So this is the best way we found to generate highly qualified traffic to those properties so that we get more, so they get the right people signing up for the free report or the video series or attending the seminar or watching the webinar. When people use your system, it, do you find that the, the most effective way for you to be driving this traffic that you're talking about is to get them into that funnel that they already have, an existing funnel that they already have, so that they're getting more of the right prospects who want more of what they're already selling? If they've got a funnel already that works, absolutely yes. If they don't, um, we could certainly advise them as to how to, pull, how to get one. Uh, Seth, this has been incredibly, incredibly insightful. I've got to tell you, I, <laughs> you had a list of um, things not to do and uh, types of ads not to run, and I <laughs> looked over at Ed and said, okay, <laughs> we need to be revisiting this ourselves. So I do have one last question for you, Seth. Fire away. Can I become one of your clients? Well, I have been a client of yours for the last couple of years, and your system has made a tremendous impact on my business and my life, so I would be honored to serve you. Ah, fantastic. Now, we're going to make this available for everybody on the replay, but I really want to encourage you, if this feels like something that's right for you, if you want to move forward and take the next step, take Seth's advice. Go to the facebookninja.com slash choices, and you can also email Seth Green. Thank you, everybody. Seth, I appreciate your time and your energy. I appreciate everybody coming on to this call. I know this has been content-rich and value-packed. Hope everybody is able to start applying this immediately. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for having me, Sally.